Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is Swift Programming for Beginners. I'm Koda Shah. As usual, before we begin our lesson, go to https repl.it slash languages slash Swift. In this lesson, you'll learn about structures, and you'll also learn the difference between reference and value types. In the previous lesson, you learned about classes. Let's take a look at a class. So this is a new class that I've just created. It's called reptile. I use the keyword class. This is the name of the class. Here are the properties. Here is the make sound method. And here is the description method. To get an instance of the class, this is what I do. I assign an instance of the class to a variable. I can call the description method and I can call the make sound method to display what sound the reptile makes. Nothing new here. What if I want the structure instead of a class? Really simple. Sorry about that. Should be struck. Right, that's all you have to do. Instead of using the class keyword, you use the struct keyword. I think I'll need to change this as well. So you can see, structure is very similar to a class. It can also have properties, it can also have methods. There's one cool thing that you can do with a structure though. Structures automatically generate a member-wise initializer. That means you do not have to implement an init method. You can get an instance and assign values to all the structure's properties like this. No initializer. If this was a class, I would need to write an initializer. But for a structure, you automatically get a member-wise initializer. So now you can see, in this structure, it's a reptile. The name is snake. The sound is his. Number of legs is zero. Well, snakes don't have legs. Breeze oxygen is true. I did not assign a value to has fur or hair. I just left it as the default. Still works. When I call the make sound method, you get a hiss. From here, you can see there's not a lot of differences between a class and a structure. So why is there a class and a structure? Why isn't there just the one thing? There is a difference between a class and a structure. First, structure cannot inherit from another structure. In the last lesson, you found that you can make a subclass based on an existing class. Well, you can't do that with structures. Second thing, Classes are reference types, while structures are value types. To see the difference between a reference type and a value type, let's look at some code. I'm going to remove all this. 
start from scratch. We're going to start with value types. So structures are value types. Going to declare a structure here with one property. And I'm going to create two instances, assign them to A and B. So here you can see A is assigned to B. I change a B's sample property value to 20. Then I'm going to print out the values for A's sample property and B's sample property. A's sample property is 10, B's sample property is 20. That means that A and B are different instances. Whatever changes that I make to B does not affect A. Let's see reference types next. So classes are reference types. Again, one property. Create two instances. So we assign C to D. I change the value of C's sample property. And I print out both the sample property values for C and D. And notice they are both the same. For reference types, when I assign C to D, this is not a copy. It is actually a reference to the existing object in memory. In other words, both C and D are pointing to the same instance. So with that, you should know the difference between a reference type and a value type. So which do you use? Should you implement a class or should you implement a structure? My recommendation, implement a structure unless you need subclassing. You avoid a whole bunch of very obscure bugs that may happen because classes are reference types. So I hope that was uh, helpful. I hope that was instructive. In the next lesson, you'll learn about uh, enumerations. That will be on Monday. Until then, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.